seven creative gimbal shot ideas that we're gonna be sharing with you. We got some pretty outlandish ones, some pretty crazy ones. I'm hoping that we can pull them off. Zion Tech keeps just releasing the most insane gimbals and this latest one from them is so, so cool. I've never seen a gimbal like this before. This is the new Crane M3. It is tiny. Look at the size of this gimbal. It's so, so small and it's packed with so many cool features. It's this small and you can still put a Sony a7 III on here. So we're gonna be putting my full-size camera on this tiny little gimbal with their really cool little quick release. It also has some really cool features like this add-on extension that also just clips in the bottom here. And then, which is something I've wanted for so long because we always have like a microphone on the side of the gimbal, you can actually plug a microphone straight into this bottom thing here and if you guys get the pro package you get this super awesome microphone with it it is a really high quality microphone you can select cardioid or super cardioid pattern and you can pretty much have this on your gimbal and that's a game changer for filming any vlog style stuff we're going to show you guys how we shoot the seven creative shots and then towards the end of the video we're going to show you how you can actually piece them together to create an entire cinematic sequence some of the other really cool features i just want to quickly touch on it has a uh, built-in little flashlight here so if you guys are shooting in like backlit situations you can turn that on it also has this touch screen that's really nice and tactile you can feel what you're pushing and all of the settings that you might need are conveniently placed right over there so let's get into some of our first shots some of them are wild so hopefully you can pull them off So for our first shot, we wanted to go with a really creative way of opening the scene and we needed to put this little gimbal onto a monopod because the idea is that we were gonna slot the whole camera through the little gap between Hannah and the bicycle, showing the scene and then slowly pulling back to reveal Hannah on that bicycle riding in this beautiful location. Having this really tiny and compact setup was hugely beneficial for this because we could slide it into those tiny little gaps and not have a big cumbersome gimbal on the end of that monopod. Shot two is gonna be a tight tracking shot and basically I want us to get the camera really nice and low, close to that back wheel, kind of move it around and just reveal the sun in front of the bicycle and show a little bit more of that bike and Hannah pedaling it down the road. The stability on this gimbal, even with the much heavier load, was really impressive and we were able to get a really nice smooth shot even though I was running with that heavy camera on the gimbal. <laughs> For shot three, I wanted to get a couple of sequential shots to all play together really fast next to one another, adding some sound effects into these. It's gonna make a really nice little fast pocket in that video and we can change the pacing of the edit to have those fast cuts between them. We just grabbed a couple of random different interesting things of the bike, the little bell, Hannah's face, her pedaling, and when we piece them all together, they're gonna look really nice. Shot four and probably one of my favorite shots of the video is gonna be a zoomed in tracking shot. We had to change over onto our longer lens. I was shooting this at 75 millimeters and I got myself far away from Hannah so I could fully zoom in and track along with her. I used the skateboard on the road. Conveniently, it was placed parallel to the little path Hannah was riding on and having the skateboard just allowed me to keep up with her and keep it really nice and smooth. This gimbal was so impressive, holding the weight of this bigger lens fully extended and that barrel being extended out. Really strong little motors and the shot ended up looking really nice and professional with that unique zoomed in focal length but still a lot of movement. Shot five is a continuous follow shot. Basically the idea for this one was we were getting Hannah arriving at this viewpoint to start getting to the end of our scene and I got multiple different little shots all within one long shot. I can play out this whole thing and it has perfectly smooth movements between each one of the different little scenarios throughout the shot. So we have Hannah kind of pulling up on the bike, getting off, showing Hannah with that sun in the background, her putting the kickstand down and then walking off into the distance, all playing out in that one seamless shot. 
shot six is going to be a wrap shot. Basically the idea for this and why I often like to do this shot is because it shows the emotion in the character. I did a full wrap around Hannah looking up at her to give her that larger than life feeling as she arrives at this viewpoint and just ran around her showing that whole scene, the view and her face taking everything in. Shot seven is a fake drone pullback. And for this one, we had to get it back onto the monopod. And we basically started off our shot really nice and close to Hannah, pulled back to give the sense of leaving that scene as we were pulling away from our subject, simultaneously lifting the monopod and gimbal up into the sky to give a grand ending, similar to what you would see in something like a drone shot. I swapped the gimbal over into locked mode, so I'd be sure that the gimbal wasn't turning or moving regardless of what I was doing with that monopod because I had to pay attention to how I was walking backwards so that I didn't walk off of the rock. I think it turned out really well and you might assume that this was actually taken on a drone if you didn't know any better. That is gonna be all of the seven shots that we need to put together an epic cinematic edit. Did you have fun shooting them? Yes. I had fun shooting it and this gimbal is such a little beast but let's check out the video we were actually able to create. So hopefully you guys think that's cool. I really like how our shots were looking. I think my favorite one was the super zoomed in lens one down there. And to think that this is such a tiny little gimbal and it could support the crazy amount of weight of this big camera with a lens sticking out all the way here is pretty impressive. Some of the other features on here are really, really cool like this wheel in front along with those other things that I told you guys about. If you want to check out this gimbal, it just got launched today. The link is going to be in the top of my description. This thing is an incredible little gimbal and it's cool to see something completely new to the market other than that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one bye